Okay, guys, so we're looking at 3.1 bow beat and 3.2 eighth note cha-cha-cha. So what we're introducing now are eighth notes. They're just like chord notes as far as they look like, except that we've added a flag to it. So we have the note head that's filled in, the stem on top, and the little flag. One eighth note symbol gets half a beat. Now, when you pair them up, you get one beat. Half plus half equals one. Um, if you get a set of two that are uh, two eighth notes put together and they make one beat, you'll play two sounds in one beat of time. Uh, what they look like when you add those two together is that the flags connect each other. So we have a called a beam. That's what it's called then. It's not a flag anymore. When you connect the flags together, it's called a beam. And you've connected them not because they make one sound, but because it's easier to look at when you're reading the music and you understand that they're eighth notes already. So when you're looking at bow beat uh, 3.1, we have two chord notes of the first measure. Then we have a pair of eighth notes. Notice I didn't say eighth notes. I want a pair. There's two eighth notes there that are beamed together. And then on beat four, you have a quarter note. You'll also notice that there's little plus signs next to the beat. That's the other half of the beat. So there are two parts of the beat, right? Because we're thinking about half a beats now. There's beat one, right? Then a half a beat after that is the and. Half a beat after that is beat two. Then the half is and. Then three and four and. So what we have when we have a metronome set at 60 beats per minute here, for example, we have the click, which is the quarter note. Quarter note equals 60 beats per minute in this case. But eighth notes go twice as fast, literally. So what we have on measure one is this rhythm here. I'm gonna count and clap. I'm gonna clap when the sound is made and count when that sound is made. Watch. One, two, three, and four. Listen again. This is measure one. One, two, three, and four. Now, what's really important here is that it's not one, two, three, and four. Four, they're evenly spaced out. So it's going to be uh, as if you have, uh, let's say, inches, right? We have two inches, but the third inch has th uh, the third inch mark and the half inch mark. So they're evenly spaced out, especially how they look like in the music. Okay. So here it is again. Measure one, one, two, three, and four. All right. So let's look at the rest of this. Measure two is exactly the same. Measure three is a bit different. We have a beat one, a pair of eighth notes. Beat two is just a quarter note. Beat three is another pair of eighth notes and beat four is a quarter note. So here's how we would count measure three. One and two, three and four. Now we gotta make sure that we're always sinking through the note because that's how we're bowing. We're not just stopping the bow. All right, we gotta hear it as well as well. And that's how we sing it. So here it is again, measure three, one and two, three and four. All right, now let's try measures one through four, the entire thing, and this is what it sounds like. Ready and go. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. One and two, three and four. One, two, three and four. All right, so that was a little bit difficult. Try to repeat this little section, uh, the recording, and now you'll kind of feel it better. Next, we're gonna try using a bow. So we're gonna air bow and count it now. So get your bow or your pencil, whatever you wanna do, and do this with me. Uh, you'll notice that there's bow markings there. Every time we have a note, we have to go up and down. Exactly like regular detache. So let's try it. We're going to start with our bow up, and then I'm going to go down for the first bow. One, two, ready, and go. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, and two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Try that again by yourselves. Okay, so I'm going to play now 3.2. I'm going to go over the pitches first and uh, the fingerings for them on the violin uh, and viola because they share the same um, fingering just on different strings, but still the D string and the A string for all three instruments. So here are the fingerings for the violin and viola for 3.2 and their note names, of course. 
So I'm going to go in guitar position, use my thumb to pluck it first. That way you get it kind of a sense of what it sounds like without using the bow. It gives us our shoulder a little bit of a break too. Mm, here we go. One, two, three, four. D, D, E, 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 e F sharp, F sharp, G, 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 A, 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 B, 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 C sharp, C sharp, D, D, D. You might have noticed that's like the D major scale. We're just adding some other rhythms to it. But every two beats, all right, pay attention. Every two beats is a new pitch. Pay attention to that. Every two beats is a new pitch. D, D, that's two beats, same pitch. And next beat is beat three and four, which is E's, E, E, E. All right, finger one. And then we have F sharp for two beats. Then we have G for two beats, but this, of course, pair of eighth notes and a chord note. That's finger three, open A. Now this is two beats of open A. And then two beats of first finger B. Two chord notes, two beats of C sharp, two fingers, and then finally two beats of the high D, three fingers on the A string. Okay, so this is what it sounds like with the bow. This is going to be both for violin and viola, and what it should look like on your recording. You're going to record yourself air bowing 3.1 and playing 3.2. Use a metronome, please, at your own tempo, as long as it's evenly played and counted. One, two, three, four. So play that along with me in this recording. Just rewind it and play it along back and forth until you're ready to record yourself. Let's go to the cello now. Okay, so cello, of course, you're going to do what the violins and violas are doing for your recording. Air, bow, and count, 3.1, like you did earlier in the recordings, of uh, this recording. And then you're going to play 3.2. So first, let's go over the pitches. We're going to pluck and sing and go over the fingerings for 3.2. Remember, we're using our... Fingers to move along the fingerboard, first finger on the yellow tape, not the white tapes. We're not pressing any of the white colored tapes if you have don't fret tapes here. Here we go. One, two, three, four. D, E, 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 F sharp, F sharp, G, 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 A, 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 B, 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 C sharp, C sharp, D, D, D. Okay, now let's try and go over the fingerings. You have open D for two beats, first finger for two beats, E, three fingers F sharp on the D string, G for four fingers, open A, one finger B, three fingers on the A string, C sharp, and then four fingers high D. Let's bow it. One, two, three, four. And that's all you got to do for your recordings. Air bow and count 3.1 and play 3.2. Got it? Can't wait to see them.